الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی مصطفیٰ محمد ابن عبد اللہ صلوات ربی وسلام علیہ اما بعد ایو الحبت فی اللہ ور ان اے گریٹ ٹائم آف کرائسس این نیڈ فار گوئنگ بیک ٹو کتاب اللہ و سنت الرسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم این انڈرسٹینڈ دا سلف آف دس امہ این ور ان dire need of people to atlab al-ilm and to have more students of knowledge and produce more ulama as ahl bid'ah is everywhere rearing their heads speaking about any and everything and attacking the honor and the manhaj and methodology of ahl sunnah wal jama'ah attacking the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and often they don't even realize that and attacking attacking the authenticity of the ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam and the aqidah and creed of Ahlul Sunnah as espoused by the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anu majma'een the ru'us of the salaf of this ummah radiallahu ta'ala anu majma'een Qala al-Musannif rahimahullah ta'ala Imam Baba Hari we reach the uh, the 17th point قال المصنف رحمه الله تعالى والإيمان بالميزان يوم القيامة يزن فيه الخير والشر له كفتان واللسان إمام بابهاري رحمه الله تعالى said to believe uh, as a, another point of creed and this is شرط السنة pointing out the creed of أهل السنة والجماعة and part of this creed is to believe in the balance or the ميزان the scale on the day of resurrection upon which good and evil will be weighed it has two scales and a tongue Imam Babahari rahimahullah ta'ala here affirmed that the mizan and the mizan and the ahlu sunnati mizan haqiqi tuzin bihi a'mal al-ibad wa khalafat al-mu'tazila Imam Baba Hari Rahimahullah Ta'ala affirmed the creed of Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah and the creed affirming uh, the, mizan, the Mizan or the scale that will weigh the righteous deeds of the believers uh, of, 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 of people and that the Mizan is Haqiqi the Mizan is it's a real scale we don't know how the Kafiyah but we know that it exists as a scale as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Kitab al-Kareem that the deeds will be weighed and as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in authentic ahadith and as the salaf of this ummah were, had consensus on and we'll get to that very shortly so al-anna mizan in the ahlu sunnah mizan haqiqi so to ahlu sunnah it is a real scale that weighs the deeds of the servants, of the slaves, of, of humankind, and the jinn. And those who disagree with this point in creed are the Mu'tazila. The Mu'tazila deny the, they make ankar of the uh, Mizan. Qal <coughs> ibn Hajr, rahimahullah ta'ala, uh, Imam ibn Hajr, Hafid ibn Hajr, the uh, author of Fath al-Bari, the most significant uh, explanation of Sahih al-Bukhari قال Imam uh, Ibn Hajr rahimahullah ta'ala قال uh, قال Abu Ishaq al-Zajjaj اجمع uh, أهل السنة على إيمان بميزان وانا أعمال العباد توزن به يوم القيامة وانا الميزان له لسان وكفتان ويميل بالأعمال وَأَنْكَرَتُ الْمُعْتَزِلَ الْمِزَانِ And this is basically the same statement we've already made. It, uh, is that uh, the statement of Imam uh, Ibn Hajar, he said that uh, Abu Ishaq al-Zajjaj, rahimahullah ta'ala, said that, the, that Ahlul Sunnah has consensus or is united, uh, has consensus upon the, uh, in, in the, the creed, in the believing that there is a scale that weighs the deeds of the servants on the day of judgment and that the scale has a uh, uh, 
basically like a tongue and two arms. It has two scales, two ways to weigh, a kifatan and a tongue. And it weighs the deeds. The deeds are weighed upon the scale. And the only ones who make ankar or deny this and negate this is the Ma'tazila that, that uh, negate the Mizan. And their argument is they say that it is an ibara an al adl that the scale is actually uh, metaphorical for uh, justice. And this statement, فَخَالِفُوا الكتاب الكتاب وَسُنَّةً So they, they differ and go against the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, by this statement. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that He will place uh, the deeds on the, on the scale, the deeds uh, are our deeds on the scale, so that the servant will see his own deeds. There, you know, that servants will see, the slaves, the people, will see their own deeds. And then they will be a witness against themselves. So you won't be able to deny anything when your deeds are weighed in front of you. For, for example, in this dunya, or in... in uh, contradiction to that. In this dunya, whatever sins you do and the sins that you try to cover up or you do cover up, if someone were to find out one of the sins you don't want people to know, one of those secret sins that you do in private, and may Allah forgive us all of our many sins, ameen, ya rabbil alameen, you could deny that because maybe it would bring great embarrassment to you or your community or your family or what have you if uh, one particular person saw you doing this bad deed, smoking crack, for example, or uh, drinking wine, or committing adultery, or whatever the, the situation is, watching pornography, anything, that a particular individual comes upon you and sees you, and then um, uh, announces this in a group of people, and you're in that gathering. You would feel great embarrassment, and even though if it was a deed that was true, you would probably fight to deny that. Because it would be your word against that person's word. It would be embarrassing. It would be difficult. And it would only be certain people who might admit to their sin and their fault. However, most people are going to fight that and even go to the extent of lying about it. But on Yom al Qiyamah, when our deeds are placed before us, May Allah forgive us and you. There will be no denial. Our deeds will be exposed and they will be weighed and we'll get what we deserve. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to have his grace, mercy, and favor upon us. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. And, and cover our faults, our many sins. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with toba. Toba to Nusuha to come back to him, come back to Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the madhab of the salaf of this ummah. And if, and if any bid'ah that any of us have involved ourselves in, then may Allah bless us with tawfiq and make a toba in removing that innovation from us and from being from Ahl bid'ah uh, uh, or any other uh, mukhalafat. May Allah forgive us and guide us all. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. And this is in accordance, this weighing of the, and the scale, the weighing of the deeds, Dalla ala dhalika al-kitaba, al-kitabu wa sunnah wa ijma'a salaf. So the Qur'an and the sunnah and the consensus of the salaf all are evidence for this. They all indicate this, uh, that this is a part of our creed. Qal Allah ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem, فَمَنْ ثَقَلَتْ مَوَازِنُهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ وَمَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِنُهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ أَنفُسَهُمْ فِي جَهَنَّمْ خَالِدِينَ uh, خَالِدُونَ In Surah Al-Mu'minun, أَيُّ الْحَبَّتِ فِي اللَّهِ Allah the Almighty says, So whoever's uh, scale, uh, 
uh, is is light with good uh, or whoever scale is is heavy with uh, deeds with good deeds, then they are those the muflihun. They are the successful ones, and whoever is uh, a scale is light with uh, with good deeds, then those are the ones who the khusara, khasiru. Those are the ones who are in a loss. The opposite of being successful. These people will be losers in the Day of Judgment. They have belittled and, uh, themselves. They've made themselves in a loss. And wallahi, we're in a loss when we commit sins, especially the major sins. We are in a loss. And you will feel that loss in this life as well as the hereafter. If you have any iman, you feel it whenever you do a sin, when you know you've done a sin. You listen to that little bit of music when you know it's haram. You reminisce on such and such. And you did such and such sin. Knowing it's haram. Knowing you'll be punished. You feel crunchy afterwards. You feel bad. You feel sad. You feel sometimes anger. Depending on the level of the iman that a person has. But it's still a good sign that they have iman if they feel sorrow and they feel tension and they feel disgust at what they did. But if they rejoice in what they did and share the fact that they committed sins, especially major sins, then this person is truly in a loss and on misguidance and heading on a dangerous path. And as Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Rahimahullah uh, Ta'ala, Al-Ma'asi Barid Al-Kufr, that sinfulness is a means to disbelief. So that's heading on the wrong path, away from the Suratullahi Al Mustaqim, the path of Allah Azza wa Jal, the straight path, Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And there are many other ayats, Surah Al Anbiya, Surah Al uh, Qariya, and other <coughs> which are evidence for the, the deeds being weighed. That our deeds will be way, and so that means we have nusus sari. We have texts that you know have no doubt about them. It's the Quran, and then we have the authentic Sunnah from those hadith of the Sunnah. We call the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam kalimatan habibatan ila rahman khafifatan ala lisan thakilatan fil mizan subhanallahi wa bahamdihi subhanallah al azim. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasallam said in Sahih Muslim or Bukhari. قال كلمة that two words or phrases كلمة خفيفة that are are very light حبيبة إن الرحمن that there are two statements. Which are beloved to Ar Rahman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, showing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's Rahmah as well. This is Ithbat al Rahmah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Ar Rahman. It's his, one of his divine names and attributes that he possesses, Rahmah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the most merciful, Tabarak wa ta'ala. And these two phrases are beloved to him. They're Kalimatan Habibatan al Rahman, Khafifatan al Lisan. They are very light. On the tongue, it's easy to pronounce these 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 statements. Fakilatan fi mizan, Subhanallah. Look at that. They are heavy on the scale. So on your scale of good deeds, this is something that's heavy, and it's so easy for us. Alhamdulillah, I'm glad we're studying this hadith. It's a reminder to me: make dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal and get your sins forgiven, and make your your scales uh, heavier on the day of judgment. Fakilatan fi mizan. It's heavy. Uh, on the scale. Subhanallah, Subhanallah wa bahamdihi, Subhanallah alazim. That's, that's the kalimatan. Glorified be Allah. And all the praises to Him. And glorified be Allah al alazim. The, ma the majestic or the, the, the Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that simple phrase, Subhanallah wa bahamdihi, Subhanallah alazim. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi Subhanallah al -adhim. We We have to uh, memorize that dhikr 
that kalimatan habibatan ila rahman that simple phrase which is beloved to ar-rahman wa thaqilatan ala fil mizan and it is heavy on the scale wa khafifatan ala lisan it's so easy for us to say on our tongues subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanallah alazim and may allah accept our good wa qal athqal shay yuda fil mizan al khulq al khulq hasan in uh, also the prophet ali sallallahu wa sallam said the first hadith was a hadith of abi huraira and this in this hadith uh, in, in, in Bukhari and Muslim, in this hadith also in Bukhari and Muslim, or this hadith is Akhraju uh, Abu Dawood, min hadith Abi Darda, wa sahahu al albani rahimahullah ta'ala, fi saheha. This hadith was authenticated by Imam al albani rahimahullah ta'ala, uh, and it was narrated in or collected in uh, Abu Dawood, Sunan Abi Dawood. From the hadith of Abi Darda, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Uh, and he said that, that the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Athkul shay yuda fil mizan al khulq al khulq al hasan. That the heaviest thing uh, that will be placed upon the scale is righteous manners. And in another hadith, this I believe this is also a hadith uh, uh, and the, from uh, uh, Abi Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu that you find in Tirmidhi قال قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ما من شيء أذكل في ميزان المؤمن يوم القيامة من حسن الخلق وإن الله يبغض الفاشى البريء. The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale. ما من شيء أثقل في ميزان. Again, he uses the term ميزان. There isn't a thing that isn't heavier on the scale of the believer on the day of judgment than good manners. So do your best, أهل السنة, أهل الإيمان, to improve your manners with everyone. Because you don't want anyone to take that from you, even from Ahl bidah Some people don't even know how to know the ahkam of dealing with a mubtadi'ah and dealing with other people or uh, Ahl fisk or Ahl kufr or what have you. Everyone has uh, various rights. Islam has given everyone various rights and ways to deal with people, especially if you want good for someone. Even from someone from Ahl bidah you want them to make toba and come back to good. Especially if there's not someone who is calling to their bid'ah and is aware of their bid'ah and distorting the religion. But you want people, you want to show people good. Show them that Ahl Sunnah is the best and has the best manners. The Prophet ﷺ said, Ma min shayin atkulu fi mizan al mu'min yawm al qiyamah min usun al khulq wa inna Allah yughidu al fash al bidi. There isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believer on the day of judgment than good manners. And verily, Allah hates. Uh, the wicked and sinful speech. Ayyullah habati fillah. In addition to those ahadith, it's also from the ijma of the salaf ala thabut dharik that the salaf of this ummah had consensus on the scale. Wu mizan haqiqi lu kafatan li hadith Abdullah bin Amr bin As wa ana ana Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam fi sahib al bataqa. قال فتدع سجلات في كفة وبطاقة في كفة. So also illustrating in another hadith in a long hadith about the hadith of Sahib of Bataka that the deeds or the records will be weighed will be placed on a hand on the scale or a part of the scale and the bataka on the other scale. So this also shows us uh, the itiqad of Ahl Sunnah. And there's another mas'ala, and I think we'll save that for a very short, to end this section, this uh, point in the treaties for the next sitting, because they're calling the Adhan, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq, 
blesses with ikhlas, with the bad Allah Sunnah the Nabi, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan, Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Nabi and the Muhammad.